Mike with Maven Imaging. Uh, today we're going to review uh, the Fuji Portable. This is called the Fuji Acro. What we have here is the Fuji Portable. It is on a set of wheels. It has a built-in battery which connects into the uh, power source. There also is, you come down here and get this, look at this, there is a circuit breaker. And we're going to turn the circuit breaker up, which is already in the up position. What we have here, it's a battery operated system with a console, touchscreen console. You can adjust the head, you can rotate this. We also supply a wireless keyboard. We have the trigger switch here. We also have the uh, wire wireless DR panel. Be able to take it out like this. We have a set of three batteries. We have the power indicator. We also have the locking station or the docking station as we call this. So when you put it in, put it down in there and you can lock and dock this here. The system here it does not have a bat, uh, power on or off switch, so it has to be stayed inside there to charge. Also we have the tube. So to raise the tube up and down, you push this up. You have the collimator. In the collimator, we have collimator buttons which rotate. So if you look inside here, you can actually see how the collimator closes. What we have here is the collimator is has lead, so it collimates, and you can collimate. There's also a collimator down here, so it can close and open so you have creation there. Also on one side you have a tape measure, built-in tape measure. Another option is the laser light beam and since this is not turned on it won't be shining but this will put the crosshairs on the system. This is the collimator. You can rotate this up and down pushing us here, put down, you can leave it. So when you're taking a shot at 40 SID, uh, you can do it either way. You can also do a sideways shot. So for example, you want to do a chest shot, you can actually lay it this way. Okay? To turn the system on, we come back over here to the console, and we do have a key switch up here at the top. We are now connected. The charge of the circuit breaker is turned on. We now connect and turn the system on. Now, as you can see, the screen is coming up. It's going into Windows. And this will take about a minute. So we'll just go through, goes through the administration, and goes into the screen. While we're going through that, waiting until it gets to a screen, we also have four USB ports, okay? We have one that connects the Wi-Fi card, our Wi-Fi keyboard, and we have the other that connect to here. So we continue to boot. It will take you into the console advanced. And this will take you to the Fuji screen, the Fuji dashboard. Over on the right hand side, we have it shows the battery life of, of the generator itself. It shows a blue light that it means that it is charged. We also have the technique chart, or excuse me, the techniques. So this uses anatomical programming. So when we select the body part, it actually selects the KVP, 
and the MAS, okay? Then you can come down here and select this. As you can see, you do have the dashboard screen. You down here, it shows you down here that the uh, DR panel is connected and is 90% charged. It shows that the PC is up and running. It shows that it's communicating. And this little iP iPad, uh, that shows you when it's delivering an image. And the finally, the Wi-Fi connection that is communicating out to the network. Also on the back of this, which we do not touch, on this side, is what we call the wife, uh, internet access. This here particularly is used for the Wi-Fi panel connecting and communicating directly to the, uh, the DR panel. So that is the Wi-Fi source, so you never touch this. And then finally, if all else fails and Wi-Fi is not working, we do have a um, RJ45 jack here. And finally, on the back side of here, we also have two USB ports for if you want to attach a, a, um, a USB um, CD driver or whatever else you want on that. Back here, this is a Fuji. Um, dashboard, Fuji Portable, Acro, DR panel, and then finally we have the battery down here. Thank you for uh, stopping by, Maven Imaging. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to learn more about Maven Imaging products, check out our website at mavenimaging.com. You can also call 1-800-949-8015. Or email our sales department at sales at mavenimaging.com. If you need technical support, email support at mavenimaging.com or call 1-800-949-8015.